Hello, boys and girls. I'm your Peter Pan storyteller. When you hear this sound, turn the page. This is the story of Frankie the Brave Fireman. Written by Ruth Roberts. In the whole town of Cedarville Creek, there was nobody who was as brave and ready, staunch and steady, tried and true as the red, white, and blue than Frankie the Fireman. At least that's what he kept telling himself as he shined his badge, polished his engine, and tested the fire siren. The trouble was that nobody else in Cedarville Creek took him at all seriously. In fact, they joked in fun and poked in fun and teased him all the time. But Frankie didn't want to be funny. No, sir, he wanted to be a fireman who was brave and ready, staunch and steady, and tried and true as the red, white, and blue. So he shined his badge, polished his engine, tested his fire siren, and waited for something to happen. Now, turn the record over, and we will continue on the other side. Clang, clang, there was the fire alarm now. Hurrying, scurrying down the pole slid the other fireman. Lickety split into the engine they jumped and drove off without him. Oh, said Frankie as he sadly walked alone to the fire. I guess I'm not a brave and ready, staunch and steady, tried and true as the red, white and blue fireman after all. And big tears splashed all over his face. For Frankie felt like a real disgrace. And he knew he'd never get to the place in time to put out the fire. And he could just imagine what all the other firemen were doing right now. Firemen, firemen all around. Stretching the hose out over the ground. Up the ladders, one, two, three. Saving people, yes siree. Spraying water, swish, swish, swish. Into the windows, onto the roof Firemen, firemen in the nick Putting out the fire quick Yes, by the time Frankie got there, the fire was out And all the firemen had left the scene And the people around were calm and serene Roof, roof! Oh, wait a minute, what was that? Roof, roof! He could hear it now, clearly too and his eyes looked up, and then he knew a puppy dog was trapped like a mouse in the third-story room of that burned-up old house that was about to collapse. And Frankie the Fireman went into action. Frankie Fireman rushed inside, brushing all the smoke aside. Up the staircase, one, two, three, now where could that puppy be? Arthy heard him bark again, found him safe and sound, and then picked him up just in the nick, got him out of the old house quick. As Frankie ran out the front door, carrying the little puppy in his arms, a great big shout went up from the crowd, and they all cheered Frankie long and loud, and from then on, he was the hero of Cedarville Creek. And they talked about Frankie week after week, of the brave and ready, staunch and steady, tried and true, as the red, white and blue, finest fireman of all. <laughs> 